All right, you four put on blue, and I need a guard to guard, a wing and a wing, and I need four white to guard them. Okay. Now, once we talk close out and stance, we're going to go to hole. We're going to do a ton of shell stuff. And the first day we might cover two things, and then add, and then add, and then add. So I will show you, and I'm also going to show you, if you don't like the way we play D, I'll show you how we do it, but I'll show you how you could do it if you're a pack line person or whatever. All right, I need you up here, like a two guard front, I need you on the wing. All right, I'm going to go through how we cover it. Here's the ball. I already covered that. How are you going to guard it? Pressure, right? Forcing sideline, baseline. All right? Now, one of the common mistakes in this is people, uh, throw it over here, I think it's easier. Guard the ball. He's going to shoot that. Some people think they're forcing sideline baseline and they open the gate. Now you got a straight line to the rim, you're going to dunk, right? Yeah. Okay. So don't ever open the gate. I want part of your body in that line straight to the basket. All right. So that's how we guard the ball. You're one pass away. We're going to have a foot on the line between the ball and your man. We're going to have a hand out. We're going to see man and ball all the time. Okay. One pass away, we're denying. Okay? Two passes away. Simple stuff here, but this is how we do it. You're going to have a foot in the lane. You're going to make a flat triangle. And I like to see people do this. So you see man and ball all the time. You can do it like this, but that hurts my neck. And I don't think people do it. So you get where you belong. Two passes away. Flat triangle. Okay? You're three passes away. Your head's in the basket, same flat triangle. Point the pistols. Okay, all right, got it? So, first day we do position check. So all of you know your job, one pass away, two pass away, three pass away, guarding the ball, right? Okay, I'm just, simple, I'll have a, a whistle. Here I'll just say pass. On the pass, this is probably the most important thing I'm going to say. This shell drill... The concepts are nothing. The most important concept is that a great defensive team will get to their next guarding spot before the ball gets to the next man. So, if he passes it there, where is your next guarding? Go, go show me. Whoa, he's one pass away. He's one, right? Wrong, wrong foot, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? And I, I may or may not have time, but I'll show you how to cover a back door. All right? Okay? Where do you belong? You're one pass away. You're on the line, taking away that pass. And I think most guys are doing what he does. Don't be shy. Get out there. I'd rather they go back door than catch it easy. Okay? We want to make you go to plan C. Most teams practice. They come down the floor. They go X, X, O, X, X. I don't want you to be able to go to your spot and do your thing. You're two passes away. One foot in the lane, flat triangle. Again, the key to this is get to that next spot before the ball gets there. Does, are you following me? I like to use the terminology power jump. So if I'm here and I know my next spot's over there, I'm not going to just jump to the ball. I'm going to power jump to the ball. Okay, a real aggressive thing. So everybody think about power jump. Uh, let's start there again. Everybody, everybody got a good spot? Ready? Pass. Don't open the gate. Don't open the gate. Now, you're too close. If they want to throw a lob, I'll let them throw lobs all day. I don't want the ball to go zing, 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 A, B, C, D. If they want to throw the lob, cool. The second thing is you're here because if he gets beat on a drive, what do you got to do? Help, right? Okay. All right, ready? We're going to go there. Pass. All right, now. Oh, power jump, right? <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't a power jump, right? Let's go back and do it again. You're going to power jump to where? One pass away. Did I got it? Re er ready? Oh, he didn't throw it yet. There's some initiative. Ready? Oh, tell me your position right now. You got the hardest job out here. Put your foot on that line. Put your foot on that line. Ready? Go. Get there. Good. Now, can you see your man? Make sure you can. Can you see the ball? Make sure you can. Ready? Pass. Okay. They're a little tired, right? 
I want to, what I would do if I was drilling this is, they would stay on defense till they were zipping around, where they were power jumping everything. Can you guys do that for 15 seconds? Ready? I know you're learning something new, so it's tough. Deny, deny, deny. Ready? Go! Jump! Now you can't, anytime we call a drill, I'll, I'll tell you when to pass. Anytime we call a drill shell, can't touch the ball. Okay, you got the ball. But ball it. Ready? Pass. Ready? Pass. Ready? Pass. Ready? Pass. Ready? Pass. Throw it anyway. Ready? Pass. Oh, you did something we weren't ready for, right? That's called a skip pass. That's what we call it. On a skip pass, you're not sliding, you're sprinting. Because you got to get to that next spot. You can't do it sliding. Okay? So, I, I saw improvement right there. I saw a little bit of improvement. Do that four or five days in a row, you're really moving. And then the first time you get out and you play a scrimmage, we'll film you. Guess what? You're not power jumping. Okay? You're not jumping to the ball all the time. You're not moving. And now you see it, and you start to realize, oh, I could be a lot better. Because you will be a good defensive team if you move with the ball and, and you move far enough. Okay? All right. Same setup. Now, what do we do about help? Obviously, bring the ball over here. Just throw it over here. I, everybody get in their position. See, we're going to do this and do... You're too close. You're too close to your man. I always call it a cushion denial. I want you to have a cushion. The further the ball is from your man, the bigger the cushion gets. So if he was at half court, your cushion might be out to here. That makes sense? Okay. So now, we don't want to get beat, but if we get beat, there's two things that can happen. One is help, get it stopped and recover. That's my second choice. My first choice is to fake trap, which is basically fake him out that you're helping, get him to pick it up and just get right straight back to your man. So all that, all that has to be sometimes is that, and he'll pick it up or stomp at him. Okay, but we will work on help and recover because it's harder. Okay, so... When I say drive, you're going to drive one way or the other. We're going to help and recover, which means you're going to recover back to your man. And when you recover back to your man, try to get a hand up in the passing lane back to your man. You might get a tip and a dunk, right? All right, here we go. Ready? Guard the ball. Ready? Drive. Help. Okay, look, look, because it's going to come up all day. Drive. Drive like you want to get to that rim. Okay. okay. Say, say you hope, should I pass it or... If, if he helps, you can pass, but we're working on recover, help and recover right now. Get in, move in a little bit. Move in a little bit. Move in, move in. Okay? Get our, move up, move up. You ready? I want you to drive. Ready? Go. Okay. A little late, but you were there and got back. Ready? Drive. Ah, don't reach. Don't reach. He'll hand it to you. Get set up. Pass it. Pass it. Oh, people jump. Good. Pass it. Pass. He can't drive baseline, by the way. Drive! Okay, now, here's what I, here's what I, and I'm going to really rush through some of this. Here's what I'm going to say about help. A hand is not help. You know, everybody says, hey, lend a helping hand. That's not help. Your chest is help. Okay, so if you're driving and I'm the help and I do this, you're going to go right by that. But if I give you my chest, now... You got it, right? Different feeling. You're going to pick it up. Okay, so that's help and recover. Um, eventually, we talk about how to rotate on the baseline. But I, I'm going to kind of get past that because I just want to keep moving. 